We've all been there, at a school dance, awkwardly staring across the room, hoping your crush notices you. But then the music starts and the mood takes you over. Dancing is all you can think about, but you still have certain people that you hope you can dance with. And in Dance Card, you'll be doing just that. Dance Card is a game designed by Michael Milconian and published by Cardboard Console. And in this game, your goal will be to be the first player to dance with all three of your partners listed on your player card. To set up the game, put the game board out and shuffle up the smooth move cards. Then place the deck onto its space and then do the same for the mix it up deck. Then place the music rules cards face up on its designated space. The game comes with 32 unique and diverse students to play as. Randomly distribute the 32 student standees to the various eight locations on the board. The refreshments and bleachers areas will each get eight students. The green, blue, yellow, and pink dance floor spaces each get three students, and the janitor's office and the restrooms each get two students. Then put out the dance die, chat tokens, and status tokens near the board. Each player is then given one dance card face up into their play area, and they should read their personal abilities so that they know what their characters can do. The player with the lowest student ID is the first player. The game takes place over a series of turns. There are two phases in each turn, the spin phase and the action phase. During the spin phase, the active player takes the spin dial from the previous player and they rotate it to the next icon. Then they resolve the effects shown. On the first turn of the game, the player rotates the dial to the start position. There are five total icons on the spin dial. On this icon, roll the song die and place it on the music rules card. This changes the type of song that's playing. This icon tells the player to draw the number of this icon tells the player to draw the number of indicated smooth move cards and add them to their hand. Smooth moves give the player special abilities and they can play them for free. This icon tells the players to reveal the top card of the mix it up deck. Follow the instructions and then place the card into the mix it up ditch pile. The spark icon tells the players to resolve the spark effect shown and any and all cards with its icon, which happen to be face up on the board or in the play area. Finally, this icon allows the player to take a number of additional move actions anytime during that player's turn. There is also one icon that states skip if three players, which of course you should skip if there are just three players. Next, we enter into the action phase. On the player's turn, they may perform up to two actions. They can do two of the same actions or two different actions. The actions available are move, dance, chat, and nerve. The move action allows the player to move any one student to an adjacent location, with one exception. They cannot move one of their partners into the same dance floor location as their student. You have to approach your dance partner, not the other way around. The dance action allows the players to attempt to dance with one of their partners if they happen to be in the same dance floor location. The players must take the dance die, including any bonus die based on the locations of their friends and chat tokens, and then roll them. Then they'll need to see if their attempts were successful. If the dance die results are greater than or equal to the dance difficulty of their partner, they place a success token on their partner and draw a smooth move card. If the result was less than the dance difficulty of the partner, then a failure token is placed on their partner. Once a partner has a failure token on the portrait, that partner cannot be selected for a dance action again until the failure token is removed. The chat action allows the player to gain a permanent bonus to dance rolls with a specific partner. If the player's student and a contact are together in either the refreshments or the bleachers, then you can take a chat action to place a chat token onto the right color of that contact's portrait. Then you will add a die to the dice pool of future dance rolls with that partner. The nerve action allows a player, if in the restroom or in the janitor's office, to ditch all failure tokens on their dance card and draw one smooth move card for each card that's ditched. There are also two free actions that can be taken any number of times per turn. The player may play smooth move cards to gain their printed effect, or the player may ditch a smooth move card in order to take a free move action. Now, let's go over some of the details of the game. At the start of each game, each player takes a dance card that represents a student. Their students will have friends who will be encouraging them and improving their chances of success. However, they also have a rival who will be doing their best to get in their way. Each student has three partners that they're attempting to dance with in order to win the game, but each of their partners has their own agenda and 
a crush, which will make it even more difficult to dance with their aspiring partners. The first player to successfully dance with all three of their partners is the winner of the game. Dance Card is a fantastic board game, and it was designed with input from the game's very active online community every step of the way. It's really refreshing to see a game that goes beyond diversity and fully steps into including the community that it represents in its development. This game is available now on Kickstarter, so if you want to check it out, there should be a link below. Thanks so much for watching, and please tell us in the comments below who your favorite character is. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming!